Alright guys, welcome to num follow up number 4. Click on this solution explorer, right click on this card shop manager, right click on this, select add, select mm, class. Uh, um, saving to db codes or db codes okay class um select a double click on this make sure you make it public now make some properties i'll pause over here so that you don't get both okay here you go you have to make this all properties and why we are making these properties a good question could be that like that uh, these properties will help us mm, actually these properties will help us to not to interact directly fr uh, from the user interface to the database like we don't have to make connections between b behind this form we have these properties we can connect these uh, connect this or make a link oh, th these controls with data from these controls to these properties that's why we have made in this properties here's a tip uh, for making properties short properties not complete properties right p r o p and select and tab two times tab hey you get these are snippets mm -hmm. okay make some connection strings connection strings okay wait a string on str which is equals to in data source is equals to dot sql um, express initial catalog which is equals to Here's your database name claims card shop db. Um, yeah, integrated uh, security is equals to true. Here you have your connection string. Now you have to insert some namespaces using system dot data dot sql client okay now uh make our, uh, this method i already written and here's the disclosure just change it to order ID order ID but I haven't created any query select which is select query okay so first we will make a select query a string uh, cell query which is equals to select order ID from details okay that's all this is the select query now what I have done in this method first of all I have created a SQL connection I have instantiated the SQL connection with an string of this 
this string with this string okay make sure you double black slash is over here then I open the connection then I executed a command SQL command cmd is equal to new SQL command cell query with a connection with a open connection select query select order ID from details and uh, what I what this method does is executes the last query of the table of the raw of the data order ID is equals to integer cmd dot execute scalar okay casting the value to integer and then I close this connection if the database doesn't have any order ID it will pass order ID as 1000 to wherever it is being called for now it is not an incrementing functionality we'll make one in a few moment um, I hope you get this idea any problem or any confusion please po feel free to contact me or post under the you my youtube video yeah for enough for now thank you jazakallah we'll be right back soon